Dazzlerion, and this also is Dazzlerion, okay? Sotal is the common name. And the way that you can determine that it's Dazzlerion versus a yucca, first of all, yucca tend to have shorter foliage. But uh, if you don't notice that, then you'll realize that uh, Dazzlerion is sort of like, uh, uh, it's very much rounded, typically stays one trunk, all right, does not form a colony. And you'll notice also it looks like somebody took the foliage and twisted it, okay? It's always got this sort of a uh, twisted appearance through the foliage, okay? The margins are not entire. If you, if you run your hand backwards on the margins of this one, don't do it real fast because it'll cut you. They're uh, ribbed, okay? The margins on this one are, are even more probably uh, accurate, or not accurate, but more like what typical Dazzlerian foliage looks like. It's got these little spines on the, on the margins, okay? And they're recurved, and if you run your hand back on it very quickly, it'll, uh, it'll cut you pretty good, all right? Also, twisted foliage here, all right? Is that snow? Did I just see snow? Yes, you did. Yeah. Awesome! All right, then we see uh, the, the flower structure on Sotal, typically five to six foot tall. Again, this one blooms from axillary buds as well because it's not gonna die after it blooms. This thing will have uh, blooms on it all the way up and down, about halfway. And uh, blooms up on the top will sort of be a creamy white, eventually turning into a, a structure that looks like uh, Cheetos, like the puff Cheetos. Right, they're sort of an orangey yellow, and they're curved, and look, they look like cheese protrusions, if you want to call it that. Zone 7 to 11 on Sotal. Look for, uh, the only difference between this and Yucca and Agave very much flexible and you can run into the edge of it and it's not a problem. Okay? Andrew, yes, I've sir. seen these before. I've never seen those.